this part of our Django tutorials, we're going to see how we can update uh, the first name and the last name inside of our list. So imagine that just just the same as what we did for the delete action, we want to do it for the update. So imagine that uh, we want to update the items or the members of our classroom and, or we want to um, modify some of the names, we want to change some of the names. So in order to do that, um, we're going to create a link inside of our index.html and uh, do nearly the same as what we did for the delete. But this time, uh, we're going to create um, another template as well. So let me copy and paste everything from this part to the ID. So we should uh, create another A tag here. Let me quickly create that. And here we need to uh, place update. So instead of update, uh, we need to write, we need to cut this one and paste it instead of the delete. And here, instead of up delete, we need to place update. And we will also create a URL for this. So here, this one is turned into a link. Our ID turns into a link. When we click, we'll uh, redir be redirected to a kind of form where um, the names inside of a database are shown and uh, that a specific name with that a specific ID will be uh, shown to the user so that the user can modify and update the name and then post it to the database and as a result the names will be updated. So now let's switch to views.py which is inside of the classmates folder which is our app folder and Instead of the views, we're going to create another function, just like the ones we did for the delete, post, and uh, other action, which was uh, query the data. So this one is going to be update. And we're going to get the re request and ID as the input, just the same as what we did for the delete. And here we're going to get the ID of actually the data related to the ID for that specific classmate that we're looking for. And actually this one is better to be classmate because we're focusing on one, not uh, many. And also for this one, what we, we do not necessarily need to change it. It's just for a better understanding of the code for other code viewers. So now we need to get data from the database and also we need to create, uh, we need to refer it to our form which is going to be created inside of another HTML file for update. So here we're going to get the HTML file and we're going to get our database. Now here we're going to write, instead of index, we're going to write update and consequently we're going to also create updates.html later but for now let us focus on our views.py so here classmate is not defined so probably we need to change this to classmate and this could be my classmate instead of that my classmate and now it's fixed okay so probably I can change this one as well. Now it's been fixed. And now what we did here was first uh, to get the data related to that specific ID, which was that specific name inside of our classroom. Then uh, we would refer to uh, our update.html where we would get the classmate, uh, the updated name of the class name. Uh, the, the classmate's name and then we're going to return HTTP request with, with the context and the request. So we're going to do exactly the same for what we did inside of the uh, index 
functions. So here we're going to do exactly the same. Also, we're going to create another function for updating the records. And I'm going to get to that, but first let's create our HTML file. So now let's create a new HTML file inside of the templates folder. I'm going to create a new file and call this update.html. There we go. And here we're going to have a heading h1 and also going to close the tag and let's call it update the classmate and then a colon is a better choice okay now let's create a form and inside of this form So let me create this one form and then we're going to create action. So now let's write our action instead of the tag. So action equals and also we have a method, right? So a method which is going to be post. So it's post method. And also we've got the action, which is update record. Update record. And then instead of this, we're going to include the um, the variable related to that specific ID, which is my classmate dot ID, my classmate dot ID. So now let's check inside of our views .py in order to see whether it was my classmate. Okay, there we go, my classmate. Okay, it didn't have any S. So now let's go back to update.html. And here, this is going to refer to that specific ID related to that specific uh, classmate. So now on the next line, in our, uh, just as always, what we did inside of our forms for cross-site forgery, uh, we're going to create CRS, uh, CRSF token. So curly brackets and then two persons. We're going to put inside of here and then CSRF token. Okay, now we're going to create uh, input tag. And by the way, it needs to have a heading as well. So let's create H2 tag here and close it. I can write first name and then colon. And so instead of this, I can write name, which is first name, or I can write first n, just the same as the other one, the other form that we had. And then we're also going to have our value. So value equals to, and then here we should mention our first name, right? So my classmate, my classmate dot first name. And then we're going to do exactly the same for the last name too. So it's better to have a BR tag right after this in order to create a space between these two forms. So right here, and I'm going to also copy these two right over here for the last name too. So here we go, last name and last N.
last name. Okay, and now another BR tag for creating a space between the form and the button related to submitting. So here we create another input and then the name is update. You can call this update for the name of the button and then the type of this could be submit. Actually type is written at first and then the value which is the name of the button so here this is the value and first of all we need to write type which is submit okay there we go so our form tag should also get closed here which is as it is so let's also close the input tag in order for that to happen so i guess that's the complete version of our update.html so now it's time to go to urls.py right over here and we need to create two urls for one for the update and the other just as you saw here for the update records as you can see right over here for updating records for uh, just when you click on the update and you submit then you update to the um, database then an action needs to be done in order to submit that or update that to the database which is inside of this url update record okay so here let's get back to urls.py and we're going to have exactly the same for update so we need to change this delete to update and also here and another one for creating the update records so first of all it's update and then update records and then we've got the id just the same as here so let me copy and paste okay now a comma and it's related to views dot update records update records and by the way here it's up views dot update and here we need a comma or okay here needs to be a comma and then we've got the name which is update record so now here we go we've got our urls completed so we need to also write a function for uh, update records as you can see this is not yellow yet because we haven't written any function so let's create a new function for updating the records so here we've got request and id as input so here we're going to get the first name and the last name from the form first name equals to requ request request dot post with capital letters and for first name we had first n first n and for the last name we can write last name equals to request by the way it's better not to write first name and last name because we've got this on the database so i'm going to write first n and last n request dot post and then we've got 
last n which was inside of our template tags uh, or templates and then we're going to get the date uh, actually get our database so we've got the same code right above so um, it's right over here that specific ID we want to get our classmate from the database and then we're going to have my classmate dot first name equals first in and then in the next line my classmate dot last name equals last n and so we're going to save all of these to our database my classmate dot save and this is going to update our database with the new values so the reason that here we have a problem because it's not a dot it's a comma so now it's been fixed there we go. So now that it, the database is uh, fixed and we've saved everything to the database, we're going to be redirected to our uh, reverse. We're going to redirect it to our index.html, which, which is our main page for uh, curing the data and seeing them on the table. So I'm going to copy and paste this exact code from our recent function and write it here inside of our function. Now it's time to try uh, our server, our codes on our server and see that the changes that we've applied actually works and there's no bug. So python3 manage.py run server so actually you need to change directory to my classmate, my class actually, my class and then run the command one more time there we go, so let's follow the link or on our browser we can get the page, so we go to classmates classmates actually that's yeah, not classmates there we go so as you can see we've got uh, links for the IDs so for example I want to change Mary Jane to another name so I click on this and there seems to be an error inside of the update so let's see where it comes from it comes from URLs so there must be something wrong with the URLs here. So the problem is we haven't saved URLs.py and so if we refresh the page now we can change the names but somehow these variables right here are not changeable because here we have a square bracket so let's also fix this one inside of our um, update.html here it's a square bracket so I need to fix this okay now it's curly bracket and after saving the code should be able to see the actual name which is Mary Jane okay perfect so here we also need a, another BR tag for a space between the update and the form So BR right here, let's save this and refresh our page. Now everything has been fixed. Now, for example, I want to say that it's Maria, not Mary. And then I'm going to update the new update our table to what has been changed. So there seems to be a problem with the URLs inside of here so there seems to it seems that 
it doesn't recognize our URL related to this action. So let's get back to our URL. So the name is update record and this is records. There seems to be a problem with the names. So here instead of our index.html, actually update.html, we have we don't have s. So here instead of our URL, we need to change this to update record, not records. So let's save this and it should be fine. Now if we continue with the actually we need to get back and update one more time. Still there seems to be an error, which means that it doesn't recognize the page. So still something's wrong and okay now we don't have that so let's get back to views and also change these to records and also let's see if there is another record for this okay now let's get back and try one more time still there is a problem and so okay what seems to be a problem here is the name the misspelling inside of this update record so these problems might happen and so there is not that big deal of problem update record and that's it so once you save this you can retry and this wants to work so there seems to be another error so here it has a problem with this first n which relates to our variable here first n we must see if there is any problem so what the error says is type error here and query object is not callable so let's get back to our variables inside of the update.html we had last n and we had first n right so let's add a here and also inside of our views.py actually this one wasn't a yes it was so inside of our views.py let's change these to a2 so that because we had another first n and last n in there and these two might sometimes change and get into a problem so let's save all of these and refresh our page continue but we need to go back update so now I fixed the error and the way you need to do it again we had the same problem as we had here inside of our post so here if you look closer we don't have parentheses we have uh, a square brackets here instead of our post we don't have parentheses we have a square brackets and just the same for here we have we don't have parentheses we have square brackets because it's a dictionary and also notice that here we should have the the same name here first in last in and it shouldn't have any a afterwards because here we had the same name for um, our dictionary so these two uh, the one that we use for adding the student and the one we, we want for updating the records should have the same name and by saving the code and for example let us try this one James Thompson for example Jamie we want to write Jamie Thompson right so then we update So there seems to be another problem. Also notice that we need to fix these ones as well. 
because here we should have first in and last in so let's save our changes and try to go back and try one more time and there we go so you need to probably run another time your run server and it will work no problem will happen so as you can see if i change for example marian to mariana and i update as you can see it updates jamie to uh, some other name for example uh, Brad Update as you can see it gets updates. So we've managed to uh, Do all of the operations on our database including a query data post data delete data and update So in the next part, we're going to work on the CSS and mostly on the front end and give a style to our application and then uh, we will finish our project.